Hello guys, we have implemented one class which was circle class in the last video. Now we, when we have implemented that class, we have written the whole code in a single file and main function was also in the same file. But when you go for some real time application, generally class is not written in a single file or the whole code is not written in a single file. So there is a separate file for declaration, there is a separate file for definition and there is a separate file for client code. So even when you implement a single class for demonstration purpose, then you are supposed to divide that into different files. So suppose if I have circle class, then for that circle class, I will implement two files. One is circle.h and another one is circle.cpp. If I have complex class, then for that complex class, I will implement two different files. One is complex.h and other one is complex.cpp. For some employee class, employee.h will be there and employee.cpp will be there. So any class you will divide into two files. One is header file dot h file and other will be source file dot cpp file. So what are the contents of header file and what are the contents of dot cpp file? Header file will contain declaration for the class. So let me consider example of a circle class. If I have circle.h as a header file, then in that file I will declare the class circle. Inside class circle there will be corresponding data members and member functions. Then in circle.cpp which is source file, there will be definition for the class. That means definitions of member functions of circle class will be inside the circle.cpp. And for this particular project, I will implement one more file which is main.cpp or client.cpp and it will contain the client side code. That means from main.cpp, I will be calling the functions of circle.cpp or some other class. So in general, there are three files. One is one header file for class declaration, one source file for class definition and one more source file to utilize the class. So let's implement these three files for class circle. So this is the circle class that I have implemented in the last video. Now I am supposed to divide this class into three files. One is circle.h, other one is circle.cpp and third one is main.cpp. So before I do that, let me create one separate directory to store all of these three files so that this directory can be treated as one project. So let me create one directory with name, say my circle. So mkdir my circle. Then I will move to that directory cd for change directory my circle. Now in this directory, I will create three different files circle.h, circle.cpp and main.cpp. So let me create a new file, rather three new files. Now this I will save as circle.h. So save as the location will be my circle directory. So I will browse for that. file name is circle.h then second file will be circle.cpp and third file will be main.cpp So these are the three files circle.h, circle.cpp, main.cpp. All of them are empty. So I will move specific code in particular file. Now first one is circle.h. So header file contains the declaration of the class. So this part is declaration of circle class and I will copy that in circle.h. Then member function definitions will be inside source file circle.cpp so I will copy these definitions in circle.cpp and main function will be inside main.cpp 
this is also called as client code main function and I will save them I have saved all three files now here you can see that files are created if I display circle.h this is circle.h now when I compile the project then I am supposed to compile only .cpp files I am not supposed to compile header files so if I want to check syntax for a particular header file then first include that header file in some source file and then compile that source file rather than compiling the header file so now I will compile circle.cpp and main.cpp so right now there are errors because I have simply divided the code into three different files but I did not take care about inclusion of files so how to include files or in which files we will include which other files circle.h now in circle.h we are not supposed to include any, any other file because it is the declaration of circle class and circle class is not making use of any built-in class or some other user defined class so there is no need to include anything inside circle.h then inside circle.cpp I have to include circle.h because these are the member function definitions of class circle which is declared inside circle.h and apart from that I have to in also include iostream since I am making use of cout scene which are the objects of ostream and iStream classes now you need to take care that when you include built-in headers you have to put them in angular brackets and when you include user defined headers you need to put them in double quotes now circle.h is user defined header we have written that header on our own so I have put them in double code then in main.cpp I have to include again circle.h because here I have created the object of circle class so inside double code circle.h iostream is not needed since I am not using cout scene if, uh, if you use them then you have to include here also iostream so now let me compile yes now it is getting compiled so it has created a dot out so if I want to create some other executable then hyphen o and say circle is the name of the executable so to run the code I will say dot slash circle so radius is suppose 6 or 10 whatever then it will give the answers for area and perimeter so this is how you are supposed to write a code into different files one header file for a class one source file for class member function definitions and one more source file for client side code so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel i will meet you again in the next video